Hello, YouTubers! Today we're going to be doing a weapons review. Today's weapons review is going to be about the Scar H. Now, the Scar H is one of the best weapons in the assault rifle class, being that the damage is the highest in its default class and the range is highest in its default class. Now, even though they both are the highest in the uh, default class, and that's actually a surprise given two weapons the highest categories, but it also has to do with what the weapon really is in real life, and in all games you'll figure out. The recoil on this weapon is crazy due to the bolt size. The bullet type is a 7.62 times 51 NATO round, and since the round is actually much bigger than that of a normal round that you'll find in one of these assault rifles in Battlefield 4, the mag magazine size is very small, it's 20 rounds, plus one in the chamber making 21 rounds in all. Now, the weapon's rate of fire is about 620, which really kind of dims down what you have the ability to do, because the recoil, since the, there's a lot more powder in the bullet, making the, making the gun be able to kick a lot more, as opposed to any other weapon you will use in the future, such as the... AEK-971, which is my personal favorite weapon because it has a high rate of fire, a pretty big magazine, and it does enough damage and it's accurate enough for me to, you know, be good with it. Unfortunately, I was not very good with the SCAR-H due to the fact that it didn't have any of these. As a low rate of fire, as a small magazine, it does a lot of damage, but the recoil is way too much for you to manage. If you try to manage the recoil with anything other than just pulling down the stick, it's not going to happen. If you think by putting a accessory on this weapon, such as a heavy barrel, it's not going to affect it. All it's going to affect is the range of which it starts hip firing at, and in which case, if you want to hip fire with this weapon, go ahead. You're going to get about as accurate as you will aiming down the sight if you're doing close quarters. Now, if you're doing a far map, and you're shooting at far distances, you're not going to enjoy this weapon as much as some veterans may, or if you are a veteran, you may enjoy this weapon a little more, but you're probably never going to use it on a long range map. Now, that's more or less because the recoil is the main factor in everything I'm going to be talking about. It is impossible to manage at far range. I've tried it many times. I've tried taking down targets at very far range, and with that said, you're going to end up bursting from medium to uh, low range, and you're going to end up shooting, if you're, if you're trying to be as accurate as possible and not lose like three-fourths of your clip on nothing, with the magazine only being 20 shots, losing 15 shots out of the nowhere, and getting killed with five, five shots, it is possible due to the damage rate being 40 and the accuracy being 63. You'd figure the accuracy would be great, and all the accuracy means is that it will shoot within a certain wide diameter when you're aiming down the scope. And that's that's amazing, and it probably needs it due to the recoil. Now, why I keep on going back to the recoil? Well, it's because it, it has the most recoil out of all the assault rifles in here, and due to the recoil being so large, you would figure that it would have a high rate of fire, because it would be, you have to manage it with burst. Unfortunately, since the weapon shoots so slow, it has such a big recoil, and has such a low magazine round, when you're bursting with this weapon, it's not, it doesn't come as a fire mode, because it's, it, it doesn't make any sense for it to come as a fire mode. So you have, you have a single and you have auto, making it a semi-auto weapon. Now, when you're, when you're shooting this weapon, you'll find out very quickly that running and gunning is not, is not what you want to do. You want to crouch. <clears throat> and stay within cover as much as you possibly can in order to take down the target as efficiently as efficiently as possible and without the least amount of deaths and that's the only way you're gonna get kills with this weapon now the weapon being really great in Battlefield 3 I was a huge fan of it now I'm not so much because they up the recoil a lot more in the weapons making the weapons more realistic but killing some of the weapons in the process and it really killed it for me what about you? Did it did it kill the weapon for you as well? Well, from the transi transition between Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4, I really liked the weapon, but Battlefield 4, f for me, killed it. Battlefield 3 was amazing. The recoil was just too much for me to actually compensate for. How about you? Did you like the weapon? Did you? Are you a fan of it? If so, can you give me any tips? Give anybody in the uh, watching this video any tips in the comment comments below of how to manage this weapons uh, recoil a little better. Maybe you have an idea of accessories that would go better than what I was trying to use. 
thank you for watching please leave comments below please subscribe please like if you like the video like it if you want to see more of these videos like this or videos of mine in the future please subscribe and remember to leave a comment down below if you have any ideas on different accessories for this weapon or if you completely disagree with my analysis of this weapon and once again i'm gonna leave you a little clip of what my weekend was like thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video what the hell is that? Is that an anti-air claymore? What? Why did I just die from a claymore, guys?